Hi everyone, it's Casey Plus YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be previewing our Clash Against the Box Hill Hawks at the VFL on this Sunday at the Horn Center. If you're returning Magpies, welcome. If you're new to the channel, you're watching this for the first time, welcome. Um, Welcome to your first preview. How I do this is simple. Talk about the game, do my top five, and give my predictions as well. Um, so, this game here. Big games, right? Big games this way because I feel like this is a game that we need to win, right? And Spock Seal. They like to play this keep mark game. So, like, everything in the AFL is the same in the VFL. So, VFL boys have to dominate well against them because we know how much of a good team that they are. Um, as well. How are we going to stop their game plan is by putting pressure on them. Um, it's the key stats in that. I feel like we can do it when we play really good football. I think how we perform well against Box Hills remarkably well. And I think we can play one-on-one -on -one football as much as possible. And just really keep the game you know, with high pressure states, the pressure, tackling, you name it. Um, as much as anything, I want to see that more often. And really put the foot on the gas and foot on the accelerator and really launch at this. And see how we can perform well as a club, you know. AFL side isn't going well, the VFL side is. Um, big game, out of fear, is huge. No crowds, unfortunately, for this game. I think um, on top of that as well um, the way we need to play is four cores against this team our record is good I'm trying to think what I need to say I feel like we can play a natural game and really launch into it because I feel like a team like us can perform well week in, week out. When we're under a lot of pressure um, as, as much as possible. So we're going to have to stop the kick mark game from the Box Hill Hawks. Um, Sam Mitchell will be coaching there as well, you think. Um, other than that, I feel like that's why we're going to have to go about this as well. Is that the bigger the occasion, the bigger that the game gets. And I love that. I really do love that because we're playing really well um, as much as possible. But having said that, this is the type of game that we need to win. And for, to be honest with you, I like it. I like it when this game's on the line. We can continue to improve as a group and really start launching at the footy. 
So first one is game plan. So our game plan is we're gonna get the ball in there quick. All right, once we get in there quick, that's how we go about this. And I feel like this is the way that we're going to go about it. Attacking footy, and then we have to force Hawthorne to go, uh, Box Hill Hawks to go long down the line. Once we continue to do that, we are a massive chance. Realistically, we are a massive chance. And I think that this suits us more than anything else um, because of that. So I think the more that we play our best footy, the better that we get as a team, as far as anything. And I, I, I really want to see, you know, a, a really good game plan that we can attack them as much as possible. The second one, right, the second one is, can we play four quarters and put Box Hill to the sword? Now, I think we can do that. I think once we put them to the sword, I feel like this is the best way to go about this. Um, realistically, I think you see more of this. And the more I think of it, the more I got belief in that in this group as well. Um, there are seen you guys that will be looking to push for that selection, and I think that's a again a good way to go about it. Um. Third one is a um, forward line. It's simple as that. Our forward line we must kick a score. All right. Realistically, we're gonna have to kick a score. We're gonna have to start performing. And I feel like this is an opportunity that we have now. That if we can kick a hundred of our eighty points, I reckon we'll get the job done. Um, we need to stop Box Hill from scoring as much as possible. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that as much uh, as anything because God knows what, um, you know, if, it, if, if, if this game is going to be on YouTube, it's easy for me to watch it as well. Um, number four is that back line. We need to really defend well and really show the reason why that we are a really, really good team and start playing our brand of football because I feel like if we're gonna have a, a day out of scoring and, and really like defend well, I think this is the type of game that we're gonna have to have as well um, on top of that. Number five is a midfield. Now, we need to start winning the hit outs to advantage and roll off the opposition's um, ruckman as well. Around the grounds, typically, we need to exploit the Box Hill Hawks um, ruckman and how we go about this is simple way to, to really push up the ladder and, and push them to the absolute max. Um, that's how I see it, and I, I th I'm pretty confident that we can do it as well. Um, oops, sorry. My tips. Uh, I'm going to say we'll win by 20 points at the Holland Centre. It suits us really well. Um, look, th this is in front of no crowds. This is... Um, The way that's going about it, to be honest. Um, but we'll perform. We'll perform. We'll, we'll be up there. We'll continue to push. Um, do I expect anything to happen? No. But as long that we remain healthy, that we continue to go hard at it. 
I feel Box Hill has kicked my game and the way they want to play. If we can limit them to do that. Um, certainly it is a way that you want to go about it and stop their attacking plays as well as much as possible. Now I don't know if you guys heard or you guys would have heard the news Alice Clarkson and Hawthorne have parted ways which would have been um, they would have stayed on for next year and coach out the year. Um, that's not going to happen so I think With the way that things are going at the moment, it'll either be Collingwood or Carlton that that will be, you know, that that would want him. That's all. I think if we get him, we'll definitely win the Premiership next year. You poop. You know, you heard it from me. I think Swiblick will think the same as well because what we see in our list is that. Clarkson's got the ability to, okay, we're playing the kids and playing them now, and then what we're trying to do is for the, the next couple of years is try and be that consistent team of playing grand finals and winning premierships. Because let's be honest, as a club, I think this is the top way that we need to have that we need to be successful like Hawthorne, like Richmond, like the Brisbane Lions. Um, push for that fourth flag um, as well. And if we don't get it, we fall short, then that's when you probably need to start the rebuild and, and really have a good discussion because he, he been, he's been there for 17 years. Um, Let's be honest, Hawthorne should have started the rebuild a lot earlier um, after the 2016 season because you go into that full re rebuild or that little mini reset rebuild and then you go hard at it. Um, so teams can certainly rise up the ladder. You play some kids. We're going to get Nick Dacus regardless. Um, he has dominated as well so if he does go number one we can certainly bank on um us getting him as much as possible on top of that but that's my preview for the vfl like comment and subscribe look well, i love you all go to mighty pies and i will be doing um i'm going to gym tomorrow but well, I'm hoping to go in the morning, but I'll try and get some more content for you guys as well. And I will be enjoying this as much as possible. Until then, bye everyone.